Hey guys, and welcome to part two of my England guide. Okay, I'm gonna take my guys home from Denmark. I'm kind of learning this nation too, I haven't played them a ton, but I still think that it'll be useful to kind of guide you through my, my thought process at least. This is a little different than I... Because Scotland has the territory, I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it anyways. I'll show you what I mean in a minute, and that's confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and attack Ireland, and I... Basically, I'm not going to court anything, because I have this objective that will just turn them to Ireland, basically. But I'm just going to attack, call everyone co-belligerent, and go. Just try to... Probably going to declare multiple, you know, more wars than just that one. I want this to be like a... Uh, attack everyone scenario. Okay, not Brittany. That's what we get though. Yeah, you know, more or less just attacking all these people at the same time. What do I want to just kind of want to war with them all at the same time? Because I don't want to keep these provinces. So kind of just want to end it all at the same time. But I can. I get call for peace, and I will in a second here. Probably end some of them. Okay, I'm gonna end this. Grab money. Then I can end the next one in a minute here. These two, grab money. And this, grab money. So I'm going to send a man full annexation from all these guys. Perfect. So instead of coring everything, I'm just going to go ahead and get these two missions done. Perfect. There are all three of these missions, rather. And then I can go ahead and do this. Oh, I can't. Oof. That's tragic. Because Scotland got this. I actually have to core these myself now. So normally you could you you can just form I mean I wonder if there's anything I can do about that. Hmm. Oh, that is awkward. Because ideally you can get all of them, you don't have to core any of them because you can just release them as Ireland and you, you actually want to because it gives you a good bonus, but kind of in a curious situation I didn't realize that was gonna happen. That was a mistake. So I guess in your if you guys are watching and you're, you're doing a campaign, make sure you when you vassalize Scotland you make him Release this. Because right now I don't think there's anything to do. I'm going to alt it forward and see if there's an answer to this. Because I do not want to pay to core all that land. I just wanted to release this Ireland and now I'm in a weird spot. What I think I'm going to do is just not core anything and save the points anyways and just sit it over extension for like five years. Although that could be a questionable choice. What is this going to do for me? I mean... I think it's okay. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'm going to do, because I don't want to waste, like, literally hundreds of admin points for nothing. This is going to be all sorts of scuffed. So, I guess we know now, for, for you guys watching, is that, like, you, you need to make sure Scotland doesn't have that province. So, but what I'm going to do is, and then I'm going to offer him this province, I guess? Yeah, this is just awkward that I'm doing this, but, okay. And now, I'm going to have to wait five years. To finish this off and again not, none of this should have happened again i'm not going to core anything the problem with doing anything is that like i'm going to be if i take a lot of land i'd be overextended right so it's kind of kind of weird i think i'm taking castile again i just like don't know what that looks like because if i'm super overextended that's just going to be a problem okay so this definitely put me in a weird spot but i feel like you guys could avoid this weird spot that i'm in pretty easily you know i have an idea of something that i could do though that would be interesting I'm going to attack Burgundy, who literally has zero allies. So I have a Reconquest CB against a lot of him, but I'm going to go ahead and attack him. So my plan is to get alliances with these people and see what provinces I can, like, return, ask them to return. Since I'm going to be a huge nation, too, I'm feeling like it actually could be pretty strong. Just looking at which one's best here. I like this manpower one if you get it, so I'm going to do that probably. Oh, no, actually, you need to do this one at some point. Because they're all French nobility for the mission. So might as well do that. And this will complete this mission. Shatter French nobility. Which you're going to have to complete eventually, so you might as well get it done. Now, the one thing you got to be careful, though, is you can't let France have more than 25 cities. Or you don't get to inherit it when you from the nation. And sorry, not 25. One thing I noticed is it actually lies. 
It says right here, inheritance is available due to France having less than 25, but it really means 40. Something I've noticed in my testing. So I'm going to give France like all of this territory except for this and then vassalize them. And I'm going to try to force these other guys to return the provinces to my guy. And see how that goes. Alright. So I'm going to end this war with that. So what I'm going to try to do, for example, is like... I'm going to ally Holland and then curry favors with them. And try to make him return my prov the provinces to Burgundy. I'm going to go ahead and... End Look for that sum of the diet of the nobility again. I have an army equal or larger than the I could do that. So for this I'm literally just going to make a few guys and then just ban them. Yeah, so that's two, I think, two agendas now. So I just need to complete one more agenda for them. This is a weird glitch actually seeing with the Teutons just attack with the Wargle. I've seen it like one other time. It's gotta be a glitch, I think. Always take this negative aggressive expansion pact. I've kind of covered that on my other guides, but I'll cover it one more time. You know, if my other episodes taught me anything, it's that I should put like one, at least one point into the chance of being the Pope. I think that it's nearly time. Yeah, it's time. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and declare war with him. I'm gonna go ahead and declare war with him now. I don't care where the aisles right now, I'll get them in a bit. Just want these two guys gone. Then this war. That ends some money. Alright, I can end this war. So now I'm finally properly able to get these provinces all to me. And that's great. Now I can complete this Conquer Island. So now you can see I can actually select this, but before it was grayed out. So you can click this, go to Parliament, do what you need to do, you know. So when you get this Kingdom of Ireland, I would put, pick Ireland should be ruled under a personal union. And there we go. That way we didn't have to core any of that land for ourselves. That was what we wanted to do the first time, but things went a little stray for us. So I get my second idea group. I'm thinking I'm going to go religious again. I kind of like, I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of religious. Yeah, and I know that like, I'm England and I'm not colonizing. What's wrong with me, right? <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I, you know, obviously can't go exploration yet anyways, but I'm not a huge fan of colonizing anyways. It's, it's a lot to deal with, but yeah, maybe we will colonize later. I don't know. You guys leave leave in the comments if you think I should call, colonize or not as my third idea group. Just uh, let me know on that one if you guys think I should or not. I, I actually I have no idea. But for my second idea group, I'm going to pick religious. And feel free to share, like, you know, ideas you have. Because, you know, I'm a, I have a good idea how to play this nation, but not like, like I'm much better with, like, Germany, Brandenburg, slash Austria. They're kind of my, some of my better ones. I can go attack the Isles now. I'm going to grab this reform progress growth for my third government reform. I'm going to grab some more generals to get some more professionalism. You actually need it for some missions later. Okay, so now that I got these these objectives done, I can get this mission done called the House Divided. And basically I can seize land and I'll never get rebels. So I don't have to care, you know, about that. And I should hopefully take it hopefully should be seizing land better than i am in general that could say that's true it's 1480 and i haven't even got my crown land above 30. you know be, be better than me guys and that's all i could say so i'm gonna gear up to go to war with denmark here because he's pretty dead pretty free it's a lot of wars i want to do though I should probably go... Oh, that was too late. I'm sure, I was about to say I should probably go attack Aragon because those provinces are going to be free, but... Alas. I failed that. Alright. So now I can complete this mission, and it's super good. English Renaissance. So what, what it does is it makes it so as long as you have a plus three artist, you get negative 15 idea cost. It's kind of the big one. 
And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So you can see in London you have this modifier here. And yeah, I should have had I should have probably done that a little earlier, but that's totally good. That'll, that'll lower my idea cost a bit. Yep, I'm gonna just go ahead and fight Denmark here. All right, now we're gonna get this. A lot of transfer side fees treaty at half the cost. Okay. So now we can probably just do this. There it is. No rule stopping the subject here. And then should take a bunch of this. Actually, the important part is probably that I don't let Sweden take anything here. And then don't let loop, maybe don't let loop back take Holstein. Guess. So you had never planned to go over there, but here we are. Don't mind it at all. This is my plan, as I was going to force him to return my core provinces. Oh no, how bad how long is this? You. We're gonna scum save. That that sucks. And again, I, I decided to show you guys when I save scum, so it's not a mystery. Or you, you actually have an idea of how many times I had to go back, stuff like that. Like again, it's not too often, but I just want to be transparent with it. All right, let's get my arms in position to attack Castile. Okay, I'm gonna end my war with Spain here. And I'm just gonna snake through all of his provinces here, down to here. So that's that's nice. And I also get Granada, the great project I want, as far and and Madrid. So cool. Oh yeah, I could probably grab the other province that I meant to grab earlier. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna break that alliance now. We're gonna we're gonna make this guy return some provinces if we can. Oh, I can take away this thing now. Okay, cool. So I can take away this English villainery, and that's something that you started the game with, but you do need to get rid of it. So I probably should wrap up this episode here. But yeah, it's it's kind of a super interesting campaign so far. No, I I'm not doing what I plan to do, but that's Europa. I can do whatever I want basically, right? I might I don't have any like. The limits to my expansion, basically, but yeah. If you if you enjoyed this episode, um, I would appreciate if you left a like or subscribed. That would be awesome. And yeah, have a great day. Thanks for watching.